right, well at Temple tonight, we like to keep our audience safe and informed, which is why we thought it was absolutely necessary to inform you of a new danger facing college students. And one and one member of the national par and uh, sorry, and when a member of the national uh, man, I keep messing that line up. And when members of one member of our local police force said he's she had a pressing issue that she wanted to share with us, we couldn't say no. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Officer Dash. Hey. I apologize Thank for stumbling you. on your intro. That's on me. I'm, it's so embarrassing. It's but all good. You know, it's, it's, it's great to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. So can you tell us about this new and present danger? Sure, Jimmy. I mean, to put it plain and simple, the biggest issue facing kids today is love. Wait. <laughs> it's not like a person or something? Oh, no. It's real, all right. I mean, it's real. I... I... I don't know, I just thought you were kind of going to talk about scary dudes in alleyways or something. Oh no, you won't find love in dark alleys and it won't hurt you. At least not at first. <laughs> Picture this, Jimmy, you're walking okay. out of film class when a girl grabs your arm and asks if she can borrow your notes from today. Mm -hmm. You say it'll cost her, she laughs and asks how much. You say one medium caramel macchiato from Saxby. She gasps and says that's my order too. Next thing you know, specific. you're picking out wedding colors and planning your honeymoon off the Amalfi Coast. I didn't know caramel macchiatos were such a gateway drug. Oh, but the coffee connection was just the first thing. I mm -hmm. mean, it turns out you have everything in common. From your favorite music, 90 90s ska, to your thoughts on the afterlife. Not, not really sure, sure but, but it's, it's nice to be optimistic. optimistic. <laughs> to your favorite to your favorite illegal activity. Going in outside and sm uh, <laughs> Not falling for it. I almost had you. Nice try. But anyway, this is the girl of your dreams. I mean, half your time will be spent with her, and the other half, you're just sitting around wondering how girls get their hair to smell so good all the time. Still a mystery. But then, one day, it's over. <laughs> just like that, she leaves you. You can barely hold yourself together. You'll start going to the dark alley behind your apartment. It turns out the scary guys back there are actually pretty chill and just need some space after their own breakups. <laughs> what? The alley is the only place you can escape the smell of freshly ground coffee beans or your aunt's vacation pictures from the Amalfi Coast. You're a wreck, and you know why? Love. That's why I'm here, to put an end to it entirely. All right, I think you might be projecting a bit there. I think just because you had a, bre a bad breakup doesn't mean all love is bad. No, no, it's not just me. I mean, everyone always thinks that it won't happen to them or that they'll be fine if it's just one time, but they're wrong. That's why I'm starting a new campaign today, love. Not even once. That was an anti-meth slogan. Uh, honestly, the two are pretty comparable. Not but really. you know what? At the end of the day, love is a drug. Wait, can't everything be a drug by that logic? I didn't say everything could be a drug. I mean, it sounds like you're the one projecting now. Uh, Officer Dash, everybody. Oh, uh, we'll be right back with TSG President Tyrell Manbars. 